Our next guest is the executive director of the nation's largest African-American video oral history archive. Her nonprofit recently, recently reached a partnership with the NFL and NFL Films. Please welcome History Makers founder, Juliana Richardson. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much here. for joining us this morning. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. We're for really pleasure. happy about it. The pleasure's all ours. Yes. <laughs> but uh, before we get into your collaboration, collaboration with the NFL, give us some background into the History Makers collection and when was your nonprofit founded and how many interviews has the History Makers recorded? Okay. So we were founded in 2000, so we're 22 years old. Um, and we have actually traveled to 413 cities and towns and we've interviewed. Oh. 3,400 um, the nation's leading African Americans across a variety of disciplines. Wow. That's incredible, Juliana. And now the History Makers is broadening its archive to include hundreds of hours of interviews of African American football legends. How did this deal between the History Makers, the NFL, and NFL Films come about? Well, it's taken us a little while, but, you know, they say everything comes right on time. So we um, had started discussions because um, even though we've done um, that number of interviews, um, our recordings of, of those whose uh, careers have been prominent in the area of sports, and in this case especially football, had not been, we had not done a really good job of it. So about a decade ago, we started to have conversations with the NFL. And what we were asking, and what is really special about this, this uh, collaboration, is that NFL Films has stepped forward to donate um, existing recordings of, um, of African American legends to the collection. Our collection, I should say, um, is housed permanently at the Library of Congress for the largest attempt to record the black experience since the WP wow. slave narratives. So we, um, so so that's the, that's wonderful that's happening. But they, but NFL Films will also serve as our production arm, and we're anticipating over the next, you know, four to five years, we'll add 125 people into our collection. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow, I love it. You know, the Isn't history makers have focused on a what Oh, it's absolutely. And you've focused on a wide range of subjects going from business makers to education, entertainment, and more. Uh, describe the importance though of telling the story of African American football players and their role in NFL history. I think there's not enough known. Um, you know, as with anything, you know, we all live in the present. Um and so, um, but looking back, um, actually, there was, I'm a Harvard Law School graduate, and the person who helped um, actually write the rules of, of football was in 1880. Um, and um, he actually helped craft the rules of football. No one knows that. Um, in the current um, mindset. So it's really important to have a record um, because um, if we don't have a record, then it, it appears that we really don't have value in our society. So that's why, that's the purpose of the organization and to educate. Mm -hmm. You are so impressive. Harvard, your work is so impressive. I'm sure your air miles are pretty nice. That's a lot of places you've traveled to. Uh, you must have so many great memories with the History Makers. Is there a particular interview that stands out in your collection that you just love? Well, there, there are lots of things that stand out. Um, I, um, well, in terms of well, it depends. I mean, there one that really comes to me, but it's not necessarily sports related. Um, is That's okay. um, you know, is is Catherine Dunham, who was uh, the creator of black dance in this country, and Harry Belafonte had wow. moved her to New York, and here was someone, and you know, who had traveled literally a team of forty people all around the world as dancers with no funding and. And so that was a really special interview in the early days, and her dancers were always around her. But I think, you know, when it comes to um, uh, sports uh, legends, you know, and especially football, you know, we've done Gail Sayers, we've done Jerry Rice, we've done Mel Blount. 
Blount, uh, John Randall. We just did uh, um, the large, you know, who is known as the best uh, known wide receiver, and um, that is um, um, Jerry Rice. This is Jerry, yeah, Jerry Rice. Mm -hmm. So we're really pleased with what um, the direction we'll be able to go with this collaboration. And I think that's really important because we were really missing um, this history and without this collaboration. So I want, I want to especially um, thank uh, uh, Ross Cadover of NFL Films who stepped forward um, and his team. I want to thank um, Jeff um, Pash, who's general counsel of the NFL, and I also very much want to thank uh, Dee Maurice Smith, who um, really helped champion and open this for us to come come together. And you know, and NFL, you know, is also making some contribution to the organization. So we really appreciate that. I love it. I love some. Amazing names in that archives. I got to go check it out. Uh, speaking of those archives, anyone around the world can access uh, the History Makers archives available 24-7. Can you please tell us how the viewers can watch the History Makers content? Okay. Our, um, our um, interviews are hosted um, on our digital archive, which are now available to 176 colleges and universities across the country, and that number is actually growing exponentially. There's also our website, which is www.thehistorymakers.org. And we would welcome anyone, and we welcome also your audience to not only check us out, but help inform us if we are missing parts of this history. We do what are called life oral histories. So the, the interviews go before the football career and past the the football career, so you see the whole person. Nice. I love. I'm, I'm available for an interview too. Whenever, whenever, <laughs> whenever you're ready. But that, <laughs> well, well, you know, we'll take that into consideration. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen some things. I know I'm young. I've seen some things. But thank you uh, so much for joining us this morning, Juliana. Thank you so much for having us. We look forward to this just being the beginning. Of course, such important work. Thanks for coming. Um, when we come back, it